Guys, we're back here working on the truck again. Um, we're gonna try to fix the suspension on this thing because it's riding like absolute turd. Um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to check in with you guys real quick before the video starts. So let me know what you guys wanna see on the channel. We have the SS, the 35th anniversary, the Black C28. We have a 2010 Mustang, the truck. We have a Audi a Q7. Definitely, definitely have a lot of projects, guys. Let me know what you guys want to see on the next episode. Um, it doesn't really matter to me what I'm working on, uh, as long as I'm working on something. And I definitely want to bring content that you guys want to see. So let me know what you guys want to see, and uh, let's get started on this episode. All right, guys. So basically, what I'm doing in the front to try to fix my drop, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my bump stop or bump stop. And basically what, why I'm doing that, the, your bump stop is right here. This is basically one of the things that I'll tell you whenever you lower these trucks. If you lower these trucks uh, any more than three or three or more inches in the front, this bump stop right here is gonna be riding on your control arm. You can see where it's been riding on my control arm. And it's basically not, in theory, what I'm thinking, is not letting the suspension like compress and rebound or whatever all the way. It's like it's not going up and down like it should because the bump stop is basically stopping it. It's riding on the bump stop. And that's why I think it kind of like rides like crap up front. Basically, the setup is Beltex 3 inch drop springs and Beltex drop shocks. So, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to loosen that. I'm going to take that bump stop up completely off. How you take that off? It's got a 13 millimeter nut right there. Take that off. The bump stop's going to come out. Other thing I'm gonna do, um, I'm actually gonna double check my shock to make sure that I don't have it super tight in. I think I might have it too tight all the way down. Basically the top, it doesn't need that much torque. Um, I'll go ahead and put this X up on screen for, for the top bolt and for the bottom bolt so right there. I'm gonna check my, my torque specs on that, make sure I didn't over tighten them. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully that makes it short run better. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're all finished with this side. It looks like it kind of lowered the truck a little bit. But like now it's looking pretty even, honestly. Not too bad. But let me show you the, the main thing why I was doing this. Something that I'll tell you whenever you lower these trucks. If you go three inches or lower, you gotta remove your bump stop. And let me show you guys why. You see that? That's the bump stop removed. Look at all that clearance that I have right there. See? Whole bunch of clearance, guys. And let me show you the other side real quick so you can see why you have to remove it. So I have like maybe like four inches of clearance and that's basically gonna let the truck go up and down and actually ride on the suspension and not on the bump stop. Cause what was happening whenever I was um, going over bumps, it was just really harsh. Like if the suspension wasn't compressing and rebounding like it was supposed to. So I started doing a whole bunch of research, found out that on these trucks, you gotta remove the front bump stops. Ooh, my barber saloon, barely see it. Anyways, yeah, on these trucks, if you go lower than a three inch, three inches or lower in the front, you gotta remove your front bump stops. Now, if your truck is like a torsion bar suspension truck, the truck's actually supposed to ride on the bump stops. So if your truck has like the torsion bars, or the, I'm not sure how you say it, the torsion bars. Oh, hey buddy. My little kitty, my little helper. You coming to help me? Yeah, boy. Try to make sure I do everything right. <laughs> my little helper right there. But anyways, if you have torsion bars, make sure you don't you do not remove your bump stops the truck is supposed to ride on the bump stops but if you don't if you hit just have like coilovers in the front or springs and shocks make sure you remove your bump stops let me show you why let me get under here see if i can show you guys the truck is really low let's see you see that that is my bump stop right there see and the truck is riding on it. So it's not letting the suspension compress. So that's why you have to remove it, guys. So yeah, let me get out of here. Man, the 
older I get, the harder it is to get up. <laughs> but anyways, let me go ahead and continue doing this side and we should be finished up with the front. and just like that we are finished so got the front end done got the rear done hopefully the truck drives better now let's go ahead and take it for a test drive all right guys we're back from the test drive everything drove pretty good um right now we are going to take this truck to get an alignment because that's another thing that i'll tell you whenever you drop these trucks make sure you get an alignment asap um, that's gonna fix your camber. I don't know if you guys can see my front wheel, how it's tucked in like, like this. It's supposed to be straight and it's tucked in like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. So that's what we are gonna be fixing today. Um, we already removed my front bun stops. So now let's go ahead and take this truck for an, for an alignment. All right, guys, we are driving the truck. We are on the way to get an alignment, you know, driving the Toro 400. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. So basically, we're going to go to the shop that's down the street from my house. They've been in business for, man, as long as I can remember, at least 32 years. They're pretty good at alignments. Um, definitely, you want to get an alignment whenever you drop your vehicle or do any kind of suspension work on it you want to make sure that your steering wheel is nice and straight and you also want to get rid of as much camber as possible so let me get in front of my fiance here sorry fiance he's back there in the car on <laughs> the mustang so yeah man Let's go ahead and get to the shop. Um, I'll try to record once I get to the shop and we'll grow from there. Made it to A and B. Uh, let's see if we can get in here without wrecking. That's the shop. So let's go ahead and get this alignment and we'll go from there. Stay tuned guys. All right, guys, so we made it back. We got the alignment. Um, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but the camber is way better on this side. It used to be tucking in way in. Now it's almost straight. It's not gonna get your, uh, like fully get rid of your camber, especially if you do a spring drop, but it is gonna fix it by a lot i don't know if you guys can tell maybe let me try to get closer yep see the camber is almost gone i think they make uh upper control arms and if you get the upper control arms you can adjust the camber a little bit more but for now i mean it's as good as it's gonna get guys and she is riding way way better um before it used to be all rough, uh, it used to be hard. Now it's way smoother. The back still rides a little rough and that's due to it not having all the leaf springs. So that's the next thing that I'm gonna address. I don't know if I'm gonna do helper bags or if I'm just gonna add the other leaf spring. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment. I always answer the comments. So, yes sir, for now, the front is done. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment if you guys have any questions. And yeah, man, let me know what you guys wanna see on the, in the channel. Or let me know if you guys wanna see more of the truck. 
more of the ESS, the C28. We have a Mustang. Uh, we even have a Audi SUV. Um, we have a whole bunch of projects. Let me go. Let me know what you guys want to see on the next video, and stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.